Retouching photos is probably one of the most time consuming parts of editing photos. And we're not talking about color grading and making sure your tones look good. I'm talking about removing pimples, blemishes on the skin, skin smoothing, all of that stuff. And honestly, because it takes so much time, I generally don't do it on most of my photos. However, I was just introduced to an AI tool that can actually do all this for you and it's actually really good. So we're gonna be taking a look today at Evoto. Now, this video is sponsored by Evoto. However, they didn't tell me anything specific to say about it and I've been using the app for about a month now. I've had some time to try it out and honestly, I've been super impressed and I'm thinking I'm gonna start putting it into my own personal workflow. Evoto is a full photo editing program. So you can edit your photos from a full raw all the way to export. So this puts it on par with Lightroom. I've been using it for about a month now and I've been impressed with what it can do. So let's jump into some of these features. So like I was saying before, Evoto can help you save time when it comes to actually retouching your photos, which this is huge. I don't do a lot of retouching myself because it just takes up too much time. Now, I tried to find some photos that would work well for this, but my model Emily here has like flawless skin. <laughs> so we'll see how much of this we can see, but I'm gonna be working with raw files here. All these raw files are from a GFX system, so either a GFX 100S, 102, anything of that sort. So we're working with 102 megapixels, and you can see it's handling the raw files extremely well. So as you can see here, Evoto is pretty straightforward. It has a photo editing vibe to it, so I feel familiar with what I'm looking at. I have some tools up in the top left corner. We also have some stuff down on the right bar there. Currently, I'm in the portrait retouching area, and this is gonna give me different AI functions to retouch the photo without me having to go in and get every blemish myself. But before we look at that, like I said, you can edit these photos from a full raw. So we have everything we would want here in photo editing. I have my white balance options. I also can white balance it myself. You can see here there's exposure, contrast, brightness, highlights, so on and so forth. We have our curves. We have our HSL, which I use very often. Color grading, detail, grain, lens correction, everything you would expect from something like Lightroom. So you can fully go in and edit your photos. But what I found out early on that I absolutely love is the fact that you can load your XMP files into it. So you all know I use the Natural Fills preset, which is my personal preset. You can find that in the description below but I can just load my preset in here and it works. And I had no idea. I've never jumped in any other application where I can take my pre-existing presets that I already use and just load them in there. Usually I would have to try and find a way to convert it or something. So that has been huge. On top of that, I can save all the AI presets for retouching into a preset. So pretty much I've been converting my presets to be an Evoto AI specific version that already has the retouching in it, which is really cool. So let's actually load up one of those and then look at a lot of the retouching. This area here with our basic edits, we know this already. It's the same as in any other program and it works well, but the retouching is really what makes Evoto stand out. So over here, I have my presets. And you can see I've already made some of my own presets. So I'm gonna to go to my color version of Natural Fills. And if y'all have personally used it already, you know that it starts out dark like this, and then you raise the exposure, and then from there, that's how you're getting the look of your photo. I think I'm gonna add some magenta. <laughs> and I might change the hue of the orange a little bit. and some saturation as well. Yeah. Maybe like in this range, that feels pretty good to me. So after I've done all my normal edits, now I'm gonna go into my portrait retouching. And as of right now, nothing's turned on so I can go through most of this. So you can see at the top here, we have options for male, female, child, elderly. So you can also do 
you're retouching per person. So if you have like a group of people, you can have different settings for each person. So maybe for someone who's elderly, you're going to have heavier under eye bag settings, where someone younger, you don't have it so heavy because you don't want it to like get rid of everything on their face. And being able to make these changes per type of person is huge. If you're a wedding photographer like me and you're doing group photos, you can create a preset for group photos, which every type of person kind of like laid out the way you would want it to be in all the edits. So it's, it's really awesome. I could go on forever. So let's zoom in on our face a little bit so we can see it a little bit easier. We have our blemish removal. I'm going to turn that up. You can already see it. It removed a couple of spots. There's our before and after. You can see that one little, I don't are those birthmarks? I have a lot of them myself, but right there on her nose, that's gone. So acne and freckles. We have face mole. We can get rid of that, but I'm going to leave that how it is. There's a glasses glare, but she doesn't have any. We have dark circles. We could turn that up some. And y'all can see after I let go of raising that setting is when the AI applies. So here it is without. Here it is with. And it's like super accurate, which is crazy. We have eye wrinkle. Maybe we'll do some of that. Uh, let's do body blemish too. We can't see that because we're zoomed in on our face, but there's eye bags. We got smile line, lip wrinkles and flakes. Oh, this is new. Oh, you know what else is cool? Since the pricing for Evoto is free, anytime they update anything like this lip wrinkles and flakes or any other settings, you just get that stuff for free. You don't have to pay for anything extra. So some of the stuff here, especially listed as new, I haven't even had a chance to try it yet. We got net wrinkle, armpit retouch. We'll turn that up a little bit. Stomach stretch marks. That's great for um, if you're doing maternity. Here's our skin retouching. So we'll do smooth skin. I don't really like dodging and burning too much. I'm gonna leave that low. Turn up the face skin smooth. And I like to do the body skin smooth, just a little bit higher than the face, but this is a little heavy. So I'm gonna bring that back. We have our glossiness and texture here. We got unity and face complexion. I'm gonna leave all this stuff off. Again, her skin looks great. So this is just minimal retouching. You have facial reshape, facial expression. We have teeth touch up, which her teeth aren't showing too much in this photo, but we'll turn that up. We have eyes, which I like removing the red veins is a big one. You can change the catch light. Makeup is crazy. I've used it one time. <laughs> so there's, yeah, there's different kind of like makeup choices that you can choose. And it'll pretty much just put the makeup on the person, which is crazy. And it's just like, it looks pretty good. Like you wouldn't even know. That's crazy. <laughs> Every time I use it, I'm like, wow. But normally I'm not doing that much of a retouch. I like to just make the skin look okay. Now that I'm zoomed out a bit, I will say that the skin smoothing is a little bit heavy. So I'm gonna turn that down some more. And there we go, finished photo. And like I said, again, I could save all of these face skin retouching options as a preset. So not only could it be the natural fills preset, but it could be natural fills preset plus skin retouching, face editing, eye redness, so on and so forth. And it's really easy to set up and it looks great. The fact that I can go from a full raw file 
into a finished photo is crazy. And like I said, again, you don't pay for anything until you actually export the photo, which uses a credit. Let's uh, let's try out another photo. So I found some of my old, old JPEGs from when I first started taking photos, which is why the edit looks really bad. <laughs> but this will be a great example of how Evoto can get rid of blemishes and face pimples and stuff like that. So let's actually see it in action here. We can see we have some skin blemishing and some dark spots on the face as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn most of this all the way up so you can really see it. Even that, let right here, let, let me, let's go back. Let's see that in action again. And it's so fast too. Like that looks great. Let's do body blemish. We can do some eye wrinkle and dark circle. A little bit of eye bag. And we're already looking pretty good. I'm gonna turn the body blemish up some more. Go ahead and add our skin smoothing. And I like doing the remove red veins. And stray hairs. And there we go. Like that's really good. And you see it took me like what, two minutes? Like normally an edit like this with frequency separation and and healing tools and things like that usually take forever here's our before and there's the after i also wanted to there's a glasses glare and while she doesn't have a lot of glare in her glasses here i really want to see it because i actually haven't had a chance to test it out Oh yeah, that's good. Y'all saw this area here. And then again, we can go ahead and do freckles and acne. Any body blemishing and eye wrinkles, dark circles. A little bit of skin smoothing. And yeah, real quick edit. Honestly, that's probably one of the best parts I like about Evoto is how fast you can use it. Like it, it's just so easy to use. So again, too, if you do a lot of retouching and you want to save yourself time, this is going to be the way. But let's talk about how I would actually use this in my own workflow. So if you didn't know, as of right now, I don't sharpen my photos inside of Lightroom at all. I actually sharpen my photos at the JPEG stage in an outbound program called Exposure X7. Now, why I do this is because I like the way the sharpening looks better. I think the photos look better sharpened at the JPEG stage. And also I add grain to my photos, which looks like trash in Lightroom. And I can do all of that with Evoto and also with retouching. So if I'm in Lightroom, what I would do is I would edit my photos. So you see this session here, the photos are edited. So I'm gonna grab a couple of photos. Say this one, we'll do a, uh, let's do a black and white as well. And, I'm gonna grab a couple more photos. And 
maybe this one here. So I choose my photos and I export them like normally. For my export settings, I'm going to do JPEG, full size, 300 PPI, that's great for printing, sharpening for screen, low, so just a little touch of sharpening, and then I'm not going to open it in another program, and then I can import those photos into a photo after the export. So I've brought my photos into a photo now, and you can see them here. So they're fully edited JPEGs. However, there's no sharpening and no grain. So I created my own preset only for sharpening and grain. I can turn that on. And as you see, it added a tad of contrast. It sharpened the photo and it also added some retouching. You can see here, everything's already turned up, body blemish, face, so on and so forth. I can come in more and do dark circles eye bags, I can add all this stuff in. Let's do hair and see if there's any strays we can get rid of. We also can do eyes. I think that I have that set up already. Yeah, red eye removal. So in a single click, I already have retouching on my photo, sharpening and grain. And I love the way the grain looks on this. This was before, this was after. Here we go one more time, before and after. Looks so good. Generally what I'll do as well is create a black and white preset for sharpening and grain. My black and whites are super grainy and I love it. So like with this photo here, I have a specific black and white grain and sharpening already set and also all of my retouching is built into it and so this would be my current process is going in here exporting a photo from lightroom putting it into evoto and then being able to get nice retouching sharpening and grain and then export the final photo and you can select multiple photos at a time and apply your preset to it as well so it's not going to add anything extra to your export time. After that, I select my photo and I export and I'll have a full finished photo. Honestly, I'm really looking forward to switching up my workflow and replacing Exposure X7 with Evoto. Being able to go from Lightroom to Evoto, apply a sharpening grain and retouch to my photos and then export from there is going to be an awesome process and it really doesn't change anything i'm already doing like i said before i usually go lightroom exposure and that's my export process so all i got to do is slot in evoto there and i get extra retouching now with all these amazing features i'm sure you're wondering how much it costs and pretty much you're buying credits to edit and export your photos. That being said, Evoto is free. You can download it now and give it a try. And until you export any photos, you can use all the features of Evoto. And what's even better is I have a link in the description below where you can get yourself 30 credits for free to try it out. 30 credits is pretty much a whole session. That's like a good portrait session, engagement session, something of that sort. So definitely make sure to check out that link in the description below and get your 30 credits. Now with pricing as well, the more credits you buy, the cheaper they get. So if you're like me, a wedding photographer, and you're doing bulk, you can go ahead and buy yourself a large amount of credits and get a little discount on that. So again, there's a link in the description. You can get 30 credits for yourself and also just check out Evoto. I highly recommend it because I've been using it now and I've been impressed so far while using it. And honestly, I would love to hear your comments about Evoto in the comments below. Aside from saving yourself time with retouching done by Evoto as well, y'all can check out some of my videos over here to see me working full wedding days to get a behind the scenes as a second photographer at a wedding. If you've never done a wedding yourself, I highly recommend it.